Depression is a really challenging topic because it's such a sensitive subject and it is something that we often encounter with chronically ill people and disabled people because there's so much going on physically with your body and also emotionally with the losses that come with a chronic illness and with the disabilities. So you're losing the ability to do things that you once enjoyed and you know that's really hard to cope with. And you're also probably facing the loss of some dreams you had, things that you wanted to do and now it's looking less likely that you'll be able to do that. So in that sense it's like a grieving process. We, and especially for those who are chronically ill, it can be a gradual process as well as abilities are lost over time. And it's not a very nice situation to be in, to be honest. It's actually one of the most disabling things, I think, for a person to deal with. Because even if you can no longer walk or do something, then you can still do other things or you can still make the most of life in, in a different way. But if depression is a part of life, then you can't see those positive things because all you see is the negative. And that's the thing with depression, it's a liar. It tells you that there is no hope, there is nothing you can do now and you know, you've lost your ability to do this and you may as well give up and nobody cares about you, um, everybody thinks it's in your head and you feel lonely or isolated and a whole host of different things that might be going through your mind and our feelings can just feel so low. And the thing is, we can choose to believe that or we can choose to believe the truth. And like I said, depression is a liar. It's not the truth. The thing is, it's so easy to get caught up in those feelings and those thoughts and to be thinking about those negative things and just keep up that train of negativity and just feeling so discouraged and depressed. But we can choose to think about positive things, things that are true, things that are good. And if you think about Philippians 4.8, applying those things to your life and while it's not a quick fix, I'm not saying it is, um, each day that you apply those principles, each day you're going to be moving towards the direction of being able to cope and handle your situation and if we stay in our depressive cycle where we're thinking about the negative things all the time, we're just going to be stuck there and we don't want to be stuck there, that's a really bad place to be. But moving forward in the right direction, making positive steps forward, even if it's slow, at least it's still moving forward. Um, so even if at this point you can hardly see how you can make it through the next hour, applying these principles may get you through that next hour, through the next day, through the next couple of days, through the next week. And just taking it a day at a time and applying these principles will help get you moving in a direction of being able to look at life in such a way that it's not such a depressing situation. So what I did was I wrote myself a letter during a time when I was feeling a little bit better and in preparation for a time when I was sure that I would feel really bad again. And the idea is that when, when you're depressed, you don't... When you're depressed, you can barely function, let alone think clearly. So this letter was designed basically for me to know how to move forward at those times when I just feel so discouraged that I can't see the way forward. And the letter gives practical tips um, of things I can do as well as things I can think about. Um, things I can listen to and in the article I've included um, a music video of uh, a song that I really like and appreciate at times when I'm feeling really down. So I encourage you to go to the article and read the letter that I wrote to myself. It is adapted a little but um, you can take that and adapt it for yourself. So things that would be helpful for you in particular, um, additional things that you want to remember, tips or things to do, add those to your own letter and you can just use this as a basis to work from. But my hope is that it will be an encouragement to you and a help to you at a time when sometimes we just can't even think through how to get through the next hour, let alone the next day or the next couple of days. So um, the link to that article is in the description below so you can access that easily that way. And if you like this video, then please hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. And comment below if you like and share with your friends. 
and just find some encouragement and help in knowing that there is a way out of depression and while it's not an easy ride and it's not a quick ride there is hope um, ultimately and that's something that we can cling to so thanks for watching this video and i look forward to catching up with you next time